What's going on guys? Sean Pierce here at my new shop in East Brunswick, New Jersey, The Body Shop. Today, we are going to be doing the root piercing. This is an instructional video. This is not for you to try at home. Okay, this is for people that are learning how to pierce or people that want to learn different techniques. All right, first thing you're always going to do, put gloves on. Um, the root piercing is going to be right here. Okay, it's done with a 16 gauge curved barbell. Um, you always want to make sure the barbell you use uh, is long enough to allow for swelling. All right. The tools you're going to use, you're going to use a forcep to hold on to the tool. It makes life a lot easier. Uh, you're going to use a very thin receiving tube to catch a needle. Best needle to use for this piercing is a curved 16 gauge needle. Okay. Makes the piercing a lot easier. And of course, the most important tool in the world for a piercer is this ball holder. Okay. It holds, one end holds a three millimeter, one end holds a four millimeter. If you are interested in getting one of these tools, DM me on my Instagram. Um, curved barbell, we're gonna get all this set up. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna swap right here. Put an alcohol pad, straight. Now we'll get the jewelry ready. This piercing is done very quickly. Pain level, it's really not that bad. I guess you'll be the judge. <laughs> so like I was saying about the ball holder, you just take the ball like that, put it in one end, spin it right off, and it holds the ball. And if you're a piercer, you know how much of a pain in the ass it is to do. So you're gonna go ahead, take your 16 gauge curved needle, touch that just a little. Make sure you move the hair out of the way and take the receiving tube, hold it right down underneath it. And you want to go right down on a straight angle. Big breath in, big breath out. Just like that. Take the jewelry. Go straight down. Ball holder. Make sure you just tighten it on. And there is your rope piercing. Very simple piercing, okay? As far as aftercare, you're gonna make sure you get a mild soap, such as Dove Sensitive Skin. Tell your clients to wash it once a day with that. Also advise them to get themselves Neil Med aftercare spray. Hands down the best aftercare spray there is. Comes in a can just like this. It's a fine mist, so it sprays upwards, sidewards, downwards. Uh, you're gonna spray it three times a day with that, all right? Helps it heal a lot quicker. If you have any questions at all, I answer all my questions from my subscribers and Instagram followers. Uh, you can DM me at underscore Sean Pierce. Until next time, take care. Fucked and drank all night. Acted all alright. Had no need to fight. Tonight, tonight.